So I was needing a uh, three-wheeled pulley, and I couldn't find one. The only one I could find was a two-wheel, and it was 20 bucks. So I certainly didn't want to pay for what it was going to cost me for three, uh, let alone the two. So I made this one. It took me about an hour. Um, so, all right, let's get started and see how it's done. All right, that's got our part made. All right, here's a piece of eighth inch, eighth inch by inch and a half uh, steel strap. And I've got it marked off to fit, fit the wheels. They'll sit down in here and it gives plenty of room for the rope to go through. And then this is how wide it needs to be for the three of them, plus spacers in between. I want to make sure they got plenty of room to move. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is get this bent. So I'm going to put it in the vise, put it right on that line. Let's see how square that is this way. Well, to the actual jaw I'm going to be bending against, it could be a little better. That's pretty good. Right there. Okay, a little past 90. Okay, that's a little better. All right, let's see if we can get this other one done. This is gonna be a little trickier because my vice is gonna get in the way. I seem to have a little bit of a twist in it. I think I can fix that. It's probably from not getting the jaws. Getting it quite straight in the jaws. Let's see if we can torque that a little bit. Ooh. Okay, that was easier than I thought. All right, that looks pretty straight now. We need to get this side brought in just a little bit. Okay, now I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get these corners rounded off. I cut two more pieces that um, 
same length as these ears, just maybe a little bit shorter, and rounded the edges off. And I've got them in here between some pieces of wood just to hold them vertical while I get them tack welded in here. So now the next thing I want to do is get it over on the mill. You can also use a, a uh, drill press and drill the hole for the axle and I'll leave these pieces of wood in there to support it. Alright, I got it set up in the mill. Got those still had those little pieces of wood in there. And uh, getting I've got it centered out. I just set one of these there and then just kind of eyeballed it to center it. Right, that's got our hole drilled all the way through. So that was a quarter inch hole that we drilled up through there. And I've got some little washers here and I cut a piece of quarter inch rod. And I'm gonna try to fit a washer in between each one of these. I don't know how successful I'm gonna be. All right, let's try this. So I'm gonna set that there. All right, so this all here. Okay, that captured those two. Now I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to do that two more times. Alright, now I'm just going to spot weld the two ends. All right, we're still spinning good. Last thing I want to do is attach something to the top to uh, so I can hang it. All right, now back in the vise, I'm going to just make a a bale out of this. Well, I've got a couple bolts here, but they're not going to hold together, so I'm going to have to clamp them. All right, there we go. So then we'll just weld that to the top. All right, so we're gonna just drop that down in there to hold it. Well, that didn't get on there the straightest. You can see I got it kind of sideways. Let's just tap it over. Or maybe we'll just knock it off. All right, let's try again. kind of ugly, but I want to make sure that thing didn't come off and have this thing hit some kid in the head. Alright, that's got our pulley made. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.